law enforcement officers in the Northwest Metro will soon have more space for high-tech training. The expansion of Maple Grove's North Metro Regional Public Safety Training Facility is almost complete. The new facility will house an additional gun range, as well as reality-based training rooms where officers can practice de-escalation techniques. Well, the instructor can put you into a situation that's very similar to what happened on the street, and that's really what they want to do. Um, you want to learn from those mistakes, and so you try to replicate those in training and let everybody try and see what solutions they come up with. Movable walls will function like different set pieces to replicate locations police commonly get called. So it's kind of like cubicles on steroids, big wall panels that can be moved around. You can build anywhere from like a house, what looks like a house, um, apartment building, long hallways, places where police officers go on calls. The new facility will also have a mat room where officers can train in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Fights are dangerous for everyone. It doesn't matter if you're in uniform or if you're standing by or you're the person that they're trying to arrest. Um, so they're really practicing to get someone onto the ground and then subdue them quickly um, without injury. Frank says now more than ever, it's important for law enforcement to learn from incidents of the past, like the shooting of Dante Wright, where the Brooklyn Center officer mistook her handgun for a taser. Anyone who's watched that video saw that there was a lot of stress on that officer, and, and that's when humans make mistakes. We want to replicate stress, and that's how you do that in a s simulation. Frank says the new facility should be fully completed by Memorial Day. For The Connection, this is Jenna Globe. Learn more about The Connection at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.